Hey guys, another question is about the footwear. Is a guy asking if, saying that he already have an old uh, trail running shoes that is great and he feels really well with that. And he's asking if he needs a new shoes, a new boot for the Camino or can, can I use my old shoes or whatever, you know? So the answer is simple. It's really difficult to choose the right footwear for the Camino. Depends, unic depends, depends only of you. You are the only guy, the only person, the only girl that can decide which one is the right footwear for you. For example, I'm going to the Camino on August, August 26. I'll start working again, 2014, until September the 30th. And I don't know yet, it's July 31st, and I don't know which footwear I will bring. So let me show you what I have here. I have my Loa boots. Uh, these boots are amazing, really comfortable. It's the Renegades from Loa. A Gore-Tex membrane. A Gore-Tex me Gore means a uh, membrane of protection. That is a technology that protects from 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 water. So basically, if you are walking on the rain, uh, basically in theory, your shoe, your feet will keep keep dry and it can breathe because the membrane have some crazy technology that can allow you to do that. Okay. So basically, um, also I have. This one here, this is a North Face uh, Ultra 1009, I mean 109, and it's, it has a Gore-Tex also, it's here, Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex membrane, and <clears throat> it's a great shoes, it's a uh, hiking shoes, this is another one from North Face with Gore-Tex, great sole here from Vibrant, um, it's amazing. This is the, the most comfortable sh uh, hiking shoe I tried so far. This is amazing. This is the ultra fast pack, okay, from North Face. The other one is the Salomon XA Pro. This is a Gore-Tex one too, and um, great sole here, great traction, and it's really comfortable. I mean, you need to decide which one is best for you. This is another one that is a little bit old and using for a long time. This has Gore-Tex only in this front part. It's, they call the Sensi Flex. I'm not sure if it's Gore-Tex actually, but it's like a shield that protects this part of the feet. Uh, this is for light rain and for the summer on the Santiago, on the Camino. If you walk on May, spring on Spain, um, you need to be aware that you can probably get a lot of rainy days, okay? So be prepared for that uh, with a Gore-Tex uh, waterproof shoes. Some people uh, said that they don't need waterproof shoes, okay? I mean, it's your decision at the end, you know? That's my suggestion. This is another one, great look, uh, Speed Cross 3 from Salomon. Gore-Tex also, great soles, it's amazing, uh, the colors are great. And it's really comfortable to really, I mean, support is good, you know, nice shoes. So basically, the answer for the question is, do I need a new shoes or I can use my old, can I use my, my old one? You need to decide because you need to try your current shoes and you need to feel, you need to feel it and see how you feel with that. See if you are comfortable, see if you feel great. Go for a walk, like an hour or two hour walk and see how your feet feels after that. And in case you decide to buy a new shoes, you can, you need to use it, you need to break it down. So you need to use it a little bit to, for, to allow the shoes to adapt to your feet, you know? So when you use it and you start working or working or working, the shoes start uh, like adapting to your feet. So that's what we want because you don't want to go with the new shoes to the Camino because um, it can cause you a lot of blisters. And we, the only thing that we don't want, guys, is blisters, okay? So basically, um, if you have your current shoes, you can still use it in case you say, oh, my, my, my current boots are really old. I mean, I am afraid to, to break in during the Camino and, you know, I, I end up without shoes. Don't worry about that because around the Camino, there are some cities that have uh, outdoor stores where you can buy shoes like this. And these shoes, um, basically, you, they are lighten their boots and they are easier more comfortable than boots sometimes in the in the way that you don't need to break it down you know you can just wear this and start walking and after one or two days it will be totally comfortable on your feet 
Um, okay, so basically if you have a shoes, try it and you don't need a new shoes for the Camino. It's better if you, if you bring your old one that you are really comfortable with. Um, the main point guys here is comfort. If your feet is feeling good, if you are comfortable with the shoes, that's all you need to look for. Okay, don't worry about if it's shiny or if it has nice colors and blah, blah, blah. That's not important, you know. The important thing is that it's really comfortable for you. Okay, um, so that's all. I hope you this video is helpful for you. Go to our blog, CaminoBlog.com, like the video, share with people because the goal of the blog is to share, spread the love and share uh, this, uh, this Camino idea with lots and lots of lots of pilgrims and help everybody to get prepared and to get ready for the best Camino and the best preparing of your life. Okay, see you there.